I will not tolerate anyone going out there and trashing Julia's reputation. I think, as I said this morning, trust is fundamental in politics. Questions of trust arose at the time of the coup in uh, June of 2010. Questions of trust arose on other policy commitments that were made prior to the last election and other questions of trust and confidence that have arisen since then. Trust is everything. And I think that is underpinning, fundamentally, uh, our political and policy challenges today. They took a view, very bluntly and very directly, that we should not proceed with the uh, carbon pollution reduction scheme. And furthermore, in the case of Julia, uh, that the Labor Party should not put a price on carbon until uh, Mr Abbott changed his position. That's the unvarnished uh, uh, record of what occurred. You know, um, a lot of trust was extended uh, prior to the events of June 2010. I also have always had a view that something called the East Timor solution wouldn't work. Um, and um, can I say, um, those sorts of things need to be looked through very carefully before you simply take a walk on the policy wild side uh, and find that other governments may not necessarily concur on the basis of the Prime Minister failing to back me in following the sustained criticisms of Minister Crean. It wasn't um, Kay Rudd who, um, who um, made a pre-election commitment on a carbon tax. It wasn't Kay Rudd who made a particular commitment to uh, Mr Wilkie on the question of poker machine. It wasn't Kay Rudd who had anything to do with um, the uh, East Timor solution or the Malaysia solution. These were initiatives and decisions taken uniquely by the Prime Minister. And I'm a bit tired and fed up of this general frame which says that if the government has a problem and, Mr. and uh, Prime Minister Gillard's uh, leadership has a problem, ipso facto it's because of me. It is simply unsustainable. Have a close look at how the government went over that period of two months where I was nowhere to be seen or heard. The government's problems, as they've accumulated over time, have been of its own making. If I didn't exist, people would have cast around for an alternative leader of the Australian Labor Party because of where we've got to in historically low polling numbers, not for one month, but for 12 months. Now, I think I'd been below uh, the 50% mark once. I got down to 49%. In the last 12 months, my, election, my recollection is, I don't think the current government has got, in terms of uh, Prime Minister Gillard's support ratings, anything approaching that number. Who is responsible for the government's current poor standing? Ours is a democracy, in the open spaces, not behind closed doors and not governed by faceless men. The general frame, which a number of you seem to have accepted given the nature of your questions, that all this exists because of 1K Rudd, needs to be fundamentally re-examined against the decisions which were taken, in my absence often, um, and then announced and implemented, often without my knowledge, uh, in the case of um, various decisions like the Malaysia solution, for example, and then uh, off they went, only discovered they didn't work. So the thesis that the government's problems exist because of 1K Rudd is simply unsustainable. I do not believe that uh, Prime Minister Gillard can lead the Australian Labor Party to success in the next election. I will not tolerate anyone going out there and trashing Julia's reputation.